happy International Women's Day, let's talk about the woman who made one of the most important discoveries in astrophysics and astronomy. This is Cecilia Payne Gaposchkin, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing that last name incorrectly. She was born in 1900 and lived in both England and America, and she studied astronomy and astrophysics. Now, this was at a time when women weren't really allowed to do that, so this was a pretty big deal in and of itself. But her main contribution to astronomy is that she was the first one to figure out what stars are actually made of. The kind of accepted theory at the time was that stars, and by extension the sun, was made up of basically the same stuff that Earth was. However, as we know now, that is very, very much not true. So Cecilia, in her PhD thesis, was the first person ever to propose that stars were made of mostly hydrogen and helium. And, of course, because it was not accepted at the time, and because she was a woman, her ideas were basically laughed at and said, absolutely no way. However, four years after the publishing of her study, researchers began to notice, oh shit, she was actually right. Stars are, in fact, made up of almost entirely hydrogen and helium. However, because people suck. The general discovery was credited to the guy who came after her and confirmed her research, named Henry Norris Russell, who was, in fact, one of the people who criticized her initial discovery the most. However, in modern times, she is quite a lot more recognized for her discoveries, and quite a lot of the credit is given to her, as it should be. In addition to being the first person to discover what stars are made of, she's also the first person to do quite a lot of things. She was the first person ever to receive a PhD in astronomy from the Harvard University, and she was the first ever woman to be a professor and teach classes at Harvard University. In addition to being an incredible trailblazer herself, she also opened the door for a lot of women to follow in her footsteps, not in just astronomy and physics, but in other fields of science as well.